Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Single Mom's Life and I'm coming back with another video, y'all. And I was debating if I really wanted to share my banana pudding uh, recipe with y'all because, I mean, it's really super simple. It's um, easy to make. You only need a few ingredients and it is delicious. Um, you see two bowls and I got double my ingredients because I am literally fixing to make two pans of banana pudding and a half um, of a pan of banana pudding y'all but y'all probably only gonna see me um, actually fixing up one though okay uh, but this will be my last vlogmas video y'all um, before Christmas I will not be posting any vlogmas videos after Christmas I will still be posting some videos but it won't be vlogmas though okay y'all it'll be on um, me pretty much getting ready for um my birthday um, on New Year's Eve. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get in this. Um, please make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. And yeah, let's let's get into it, y'all. Okay, so what we are going to need for this simple, easy, delicious banana pudding, y'all, we need one can of this um, Eagle Brand condensed milk. We need two packages of this Jell-O vanilla um, put in instant and also um, French vanilla is good as well but um, I like the vanilla um, and this is the 3.4 ounce box y'all also you're going to need some Cool Whip one thing of Cool Whip um, this is 8 ounces and also you're going to need some milk you're going to need your cookies and y'all these cookies are the best cookies to use in this banana pudding recipe y'all this these are the best cookies and I went looking and I could not find any more of these cookies they were sold out y'all so I have to make two things of these cookies stretch over three banana puddings and a half but only one of them is really gonna get fixed up the way I would normally fix it up though um, since I'm limited on cookies y'all but anyway um, we're gonna make it work though so um, cookies and of course your good old bananas but anyway y'all let's go ahead and start mixing um, and like I said I'm doing two puddings I'm only going to show y'all um, me doing one of them but I'm actually doing two puddings and I'm doing them together side by side y'all okay y'all so um, I'm fixing to mix up my Jello, and on the box, the direction says uh, for each box it says um, two cups of cold milk. Okay, y'all, two cups of cold milk, right? So basically, what I do, you can either if you're doing two boxes, then that's four cups of cold milk. You can do it that way, but doing it that way, it tastes good, but also it'll be a little bit thinner. Now, if you take away some of the milk, then that will make it thicker, and that is what. I am doing because I'm taking away some of the milk because I also have the Eagle brand condensed milk and I have this Cool Whip. So instead of um, doing four cups of milk for this, I'm only going to do three and a half cups of milk. But you can do the four cups and it tastes delicious, y'all. Okay. But like I said, if you want it a little bit thicker, then um, take half a cup of the milk away or either uh, one of the cups of milk away and then that will make your pudding thicker so we're putting this in here and i'm going to add three and a half cups of milk y'all and then i'm going to start mixing so let me get that ready okay so i'm adding my milk and this three and a half cups y'all that's one two three and a half y'all so I'm going to mix this up and also you can use a blender too y'all and I already have my other one over here I've mixed that up already so I'm just gonna mix this I'm gonna stir it up for a little bit and then I'm gonna uh, use the blender to mix it so let me do that y'all Okay, now y'all, we're, we're going to add our Eagle Brand condensed, sweetened condensed milk. And trust me, y'all, this is really good. This is why so many folks have requested that I make this. 
because when they got a taste of it, and I've been making this for some years, y'all, but once they got a taste of it and I took it to work, oh my gosh, they love this banana pudding, y'all. Um, all you need is a few ingredients and you can have you a delicious banana pudding. Also, we're gonna put some Cool Whip in here, y'all. Go ahead and mix all this stuff in here. And this is all you need, y'all. This is it. This is all you need to make a delicious banana pudding for the holidays or for any occasion, y'all. And this stuff tastes so good. But anyway, let me go on and mix this up. Okay, y'all. Got our banana pudding mixed up, and this is how it should look. And you can taste it, too. I know what it tastes like, because I've been preparing this for years, y'all. <laughs> but um, I'm fixing to get my pan so I can get started with um, layering and getting this set up, y'all. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, y'all, is I'm going to put my cookies down first. And since I'm limited on my cookies, I can't go too crazy with the cookies because I do have to make this stretch. Um, but anyway, so we're not going to go too, too crazy with the cookies, y'all. So, put our cookies in here. Okay, so now I'm going to start cutting my bananas up in here, y'all. And I would add more bananas add more cookies if I had it, but y'all, I don't have it, so. But normally I would add a little bit more than this, but anyway, so I'm just gonna start cutting my bananas up in here. Okay, y'all, got all the bananas cut up, and I think I used a total of about five, y'all, five bananas. Uh, so now we're just going to put in our banana pudding, y'all. So now we're just gonna add this. Let me go ahead and get this spread out, y'all. So now we have it um, spread it out. So now all I'm gonna do, y'all, and this is what is gonna take the majority of my cookies that I do not have, is just placing cookies around that outer side of the banana pudding. And it's gonna look beautiful, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I've got the cookies around the border. Now what you do to make it even prettier, y'all, presentation, y'all, presentation, is you take some of your cookies and you crumble it up and put it on the top, y'all. So let me go on and do that. Okay, so I got my cookies crumbled up, y'all, and all we do is we just sprinkle some of these cookies on the top. And look how beautiful this is looking, y'all. This right here, just sprinkling cookies on the top of it, y'all. It makes such a big difference when you do that. Such a big difference. Anyway, y'all, this is my good old banana pudding recipe, y'all. It's quick. It's simple. Anybody can make this, and it is delicious, y'all. It is delicious. But anyway, this is my banana pudding. Um, I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight, let it set, y'all. And it'll be ready to serve come tomorrow. But yeah, this is my video. Um, thank you for watching. Please make sure you give me a big old thumbs up for this. Also, make sure you leave me a comment. And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? But anyway, y'all, this is my video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, y'all. Bye-bye, and Merry Christmas, y'all.